Nick Bosa showed up to minicamp, and I think I'm not the only person that noticed that there's a lot of parallels between him and Debo Samuel. A lot of questions with Debo. What about Nick Bosa? Are there any updates on the contract negotiations with him? And Kyle Shanahan, candid, candid head coach that he is, God bless him, said, not really. We haven't even really started that. Can you imagine any other coach saying that? Thanks, Kyle. Yeah, I haven't really started that. Uh, very interesting. Not surprised, though. Not su surprised for a few reasons. One, it doesn't seem like the Niners are ever in a rush to get anyone signed anymore. Trent Balky liked to do that. He liked to kind of preemptively sign people before they got too expensive. It was smart. I mean, it was it was a strategy. It had some, some merit. John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan don't seem to do that. Um, from their perspective, there's no rush. He, he was a first-round pick. There's a fifth-year option. He, he's not entering a lame-duck year. He signed through 2023. So, like, this isn't even really something to talk about now. Unless Nick Bosa was willing to sign for less. And we know he's not. We know, just look at the, the contracts his brother has negotiated. His brother also waited until after his fourth year, not his third year, to sign an extension. So Bosa's patient. He wants the most money possible. The Niners want to nickel and dime you and save some money. So they're far, I mean, they're, neither side has any urgency to get this done anytime soon. Uh, I do think also, I, the Niners would never admit it, publicly but let's see Bosa stay healthy again for a year because I has he had two healthy seasons in a row I don't know if he's had two healthy seasons in a row since high school maybe he has but he sort of has a pattern so before you give Nick Bosa a fully guaranteed 150 million dollar contract or whatever let him stay healthy for a second year in a row I mean frankly that's that's what I would do I wouldn't just rush up to Bosa oh my god you had a great year like he's under no, he's in no hurry. You should be in no hurry. Let him prove that he can stay healthy. He has a really awful pattern. And I'm not saying if he gets hurt, you don't extend him. But if he gets hurt this year, the price changes, the circumstances change. So I think the Niners are actually handling this prudently, correctly, if I'm interpreting things the right way.